folks, and this week's installment of A Day in the Life, Caroline and I visited Mark Dunning Industries, a lot of people know it simply as MDI here in Dothan, to shadow garbage truck workers. Wow, what a time we had. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yes, it was. So, see how we managed. <laughs> get right here. Mm -hmm. Right, get, get right here, wait up here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get right here behind you. Hold on tight. Mark Dunning Industries in Dothan, known simply as MDI by many, was founded in 1980 and employs some 150 people. The Garbage Waste Removal and Recycling Company services both residential and commercial clients. Scott Smith has been a sales manager for eight years with the company, and for him, this is a second career. He previously worked in pharmaceutical sales prior to working at MDI. The core business of MDI is around uh, military bases. We have government contracts in about seven states. Some of those states include Florida, Texas, Georgia, Mississippi, and New Mexico. Tanya, please. You be the first one to do this. Right. I'm gonna let her try it. So first of all, what I you do you when should. you step out the truck, uh -huh. you want to grab this with both of your hands. Uh -huh. Grab it both of your hands. All right, I got it. Roll it back. Roll it back. Uh huh. And then you're gonna roll it back like this. Okay. Let me show you. Let me demonstrate one good yeah. time. We need a demonstration. You're gonna roll it back, and you're gonna position it with the truck. Oh. Lee Bryan is one of MDI's most senior employees, having worked for the waste management business for the past 20 years. He explains why he has grown to love his job. Around the holidays, there's people that, that's coming out and giving you uh, some cookies or some water or something to drink. Sometimes even a card that says thank you, you know. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's very, it's an interesting job. Here, you oh, want to make sure you got the good, Tanya. And every now and then, you're going to have to. Oh. I got you, I got you, I got you. <laughs> Just step right here, though. Yeah, that's why you want to keep your body out of the way of all this. Watch out for all those ants. Each day Lee's crew goes out, they collect garbage from some 300 to 400 different locations. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just make sure you keep your hand on it. Keep your body out of the way. Lord have mercy. All right. Well, let's hope you get better. <laughs> Servicing several different communities in the Wiregrass along the way, including Napier Field and Grimes, just to name a few. The smell is refreshing. And that's just one day on. We've got like what? How many more to go? Oh, two, three hundred. Two or three hundred mm -hmm. in a day? Every day is more than that sometimes. And after two decades, Bryant says the smell doesn't even face him anymore. I guess starting out it would be hard, but once you get used to it, it's just just like you guys' job, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, like you go out and you reach out to the public. Okay. It's what we do, but we do it in a whole different uh -huh. setting. Yeah. You know? Did you like that? I think that's where diapers, fresh diapers. I'm pretty sure of it. I'm pretty sure. First time. Uh -huh. So you would you like to be a uh, garbage lady? No, I don't think this is for me. I respect much respect to what y'all do because I just don't. I don't think I'm cut out. Right. I really don't. Caroline. Bye, Bex. I'm sorry. Tanya, you got away from the cameraman. Hurry up. <laughs> Tanya, don't, don't push me off. I'm going to try not to. <laughs> we need clothespins for our noses. Yeah, I'm getting the front line smell right here. And I'm telling you, each stop, it just gets worse and worse. That's a good job. That's a good job. Oh, yeah, just go ahead and tip it back up. Tanya, I think you missed one bit. <laughs> Just take your hand. Uh -huh. You don't want to sometimes, but or get you a stick or something. Just push this aside. Make yourself some room. Mm -hmm. Try it again. Third time's a charm. Right. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm getting fast. I'm getting good. Woo. Right. Both. Yes. Yeah. Good. Uh, that was good. That was perfection. Yeah. I gotta say. Go So what happens to the garbage once it's all collected? Where does it go next? And then once we collect all that, we go to the transfer station right off Nash Newman Road, and that's where we dispose of everything at. It's, it's, it's released off the truck, and then it goes into a transfer truck, and then it goes to the landfill. We couldn't go to the transfer station or landfill, but by the end of the day, we definitely were enlightened and had a stronger appreciation for people in the waste management business.
Olivia, what are you doing? Well, uh, it was stinky back there, so... Uh-uh. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. We won't even let her drive the station car. Much no, less we trust her driving. No, ma'am. Tanya, I'm gonna get out of the car. Get out, get out of the if car. Driving, Tanya, one, two, thank you. Y'all did great. You did great. You got for starting out. You did great. You did great. You did. Well, I give both of them a shot. You know, I don't know how long both of them will be here, but uh, you know, but I give both of them a shot. A day in the life, sponsored by Ted's Temps, ready to work. Oh, he said we did great, but were we really? I don't know. He was so nice, and that was probably one of my favorite segments he was. we've done. And much respect for what they do. Yes. I don't know how they do it. He's been doing it for two decades. Can you imagine? And I so. think it's neat. He said, you know, it's a career. I made a career yeah, out of and it. And he really enjoys he it. He loves it, so I'm, I'm happy that they enjoy yes. what they do. And you've been on a few segments now. Was that one of your favorites? D definitely. <laughs> it was definitely the most, uh, the dirtiest, yeah. but um, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. So. Well, you didn't get to go under the house when Mandy and I went, so. I don't know was, if I could have survived that. This was just a taste of that, but in seriousness, thank you to everyone at Mark Dunning Industries. We really appreciate you letting us tag along, and thanks to everyone at Ted's Temps, of course, for sponsoring that weekly segment. Well, we need to take a quick break, but let's go ahead and see how things are looking outdoors, courtesy of the fine people at the Durden Digital Network.